to go on strike for climate change. In September of 2019, an estimated 2 million people worldwide took part in the school strike for climate. The young people of Liscard, whilst small in number, took part in this global show of people power. In the same year, the Wam Bam Drama Club performed a promenade play as part of the heritage event, Liscard Unlocked. As part of the Heritage Open Days and Liscard Unlocks, lots of um, buildings that aren't necessarily always accessible um, to the public have been opened for the public to come and, and have a look. We chose areas around town to perform our play in. For example, the Methodist Hall, we have a scene in there. And then we go to the museum where we have a court scene because we thought that these places lend themselves to, these, uh, to the themes and also um, visually look good um, for the play. So we were asked to um, do the children's strike. Um, the theme of the Heritage Open Days um, this year is people power. And um, so we thought it would be a nice tie-in to have the children's strike of 1872 and tie it in with um, modern day when the kids have all gone out to strike for climate change. And we thought it'd be a nice parallel between the two themes um, to have the children striking obviously for more pay in 1872 and also today's striking for climate change. 147 years later this spirit and drive for change still thrives in the young people of the town. Like our grandchildren's grandchildren and their grandchildren they're going to be living in that world and even if we're not living in it anymore we still want to make it like a nice place for them to live in. We want to make a start of something that can change the world. As in 1872, children want to change the world. Today's children demand that action be taken to stop the erosion of the environment, urging government and business to act on climate change. That was in large part triggered by the Industrial Revolution. In 1972, 300 children joined the national protest asking for an increase in their wages by just one or two pence on top of the six pence they were already being paid. Many of the mine owners relented, but not all. The child miners that took part in the protest were from mines based around Carradon Hill. The remaining derelict structures stand as a monument to how the people of the region helped shape the United Kingdom by playing a pivotal role in the Industrial Revolution. The children's strike then and now is bold in its ambition. In 1872, it helped shape the power and unionization of the workforce in Cornish mines. It also helped towards the freedom of education and liberty that children in today's modern society so often take for granted. Just a few years later, in 1880, an education act finally made it compulsory for children between the ages of five and 10 to attend school. I mean, after they sh uh, went out on strike and um, then the Temperance Society all got involved, um, the children were made actually forced to go to school. Um, so it was quite an eye-opener them realising that actually this would have been their life. They would have gone out at the age of six and actually done some work. And um, the fact that they actually um, stood up for the fact that they weren't earning enough money um, was quite a powerful thing for them to realise.
Children and young people still benefit from these changes today. Liscard Unlocked has opened up the town and the story of these heroic children, ensuring those of today learn from those of the past. Most adults don't think that children, like, they're not old enough to believe so strongly about what they believe in. But like, when the children went on strike for more pay, like a pay rise, and um, now when they're doing about climate change, it is showing like the older people that we do care about what's going on and that we do want to get involved and that we do have an opinion.